Hey everyone, it's Tyler and Michelle Stroke from Universal Rackets, and today we are going over how to get to more balls in pickleball. Regardless of your fitness level, regardless of your age, regardless of your skill level, if you stay tuned for this whole video, you are going to be able to get to twice as many balls on court than you would without watching this video. We're going to be going over tips and tricks regardless of athletic ability on how to get to more balls balls in pickleball. And that means lobs. That means short balls. That means high balls. That means balls that you don't even think you can get, you'll be able to get. Perfect. Can't wait to hear this one. Let's get started. <laughs> so the first tip that I'm going to give you that is going to give you twice as many balls is to always be on your toes. Once again, when you are playing pickleball, if you feel like you can't get to the balls, if you feel like you're too slow, check, are, is your weight on your heels or is your weight on your toes? I want you to think, put your weight on your heels right now. If I have to go to the right or if I have to go to the left, it's going to be super difficult because my body is grounded. Now, if I'm on my toes, if all my weight's on my toes while I'm waiting before the shot, it's going to allow me to push off to the right or to the left. So again, instead of being on my heels, I'm going to be on my toes so I can move to the right or the left. The only time that your heels should touch the ground while you're playing pickleball is when you plant to hit a shot. That means if you're either going for a dink or if you're going for a drop or if you're going for a ground stroke, the only time that your heel touches the ground is when you're making contact during your shot. So always on the toes. A great way, a great tip to think about is number one, just always be on your toes, never touch the ground. Another thing is pretend the ground is hot sand and you're just always on the tips of your toes. This is a great uh, drill to do, or this is a great tip to use when you're hitting your returns, right? Because for your returns, if someone has a big serve, if my weight's on my heels, it's gonna be super difficult to get to the ball. If my weight's on my toes now, I can really push off and hit my returns. And remember, we just made a reel the other day about getting low to, for your returns. Most people miss their returns because they're standing upright. They're too high up, they wanna get low. And what you have to do to get low is first take your heels off the ground to get lower. So you can drop your center of gravity. Yep. Yes, another thing for the dinks, right? When you're starting out for the dinks, okay, beginner, player, you do want your weight on your heels because you don't want to teach them to go in the kitchen. Right. But when you get more advanced, when you want to be more aggressive, when you want to get to more balls in the air than let them bouncing, by being on your toes, it's going to allow you to extend further. Another clear way to think about this as well is think of heel for stability. Like Tyler said, before you're hitting your shot or if you're rotating through your shot, you want to think your heels give you stability. So if you're at the kitchen, you're a new player, you want to be stable at the kitchen. You don't want to fall into it by accident. But if you want to be able to get somewhere faster, you want to use your toes. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Speaking about getting somewhere faster, the fastest way between two points is diagonal. It's a straight line, which is also diagonal, but it's straight. It's a straight line. Okay. Um, it could be a straight line, like up and down. It doesn't have to go across. Okay. Well, getting back to it, though. It's a straight if, line. <laughs> okay, thank you. If you can move diagonal to balls, you are going to cut the angle of the balls. I want to show you, okay? So if I have a forehand where I would typically go, where I would typically go is I would go out here and oh, I can't get to the ball. They hit such good angle. Or a backhand, if Michelle hits me a backhand, hit me your backhand swing, oh, I can't get to it, right? Instead of going side to side, I am going to move diagonally. Now, instead of going out wide to the forehand, watch what am I, I'm going to do. Toss me a ball, Michelle, out wide right here. Here we are, toss me a ball. Here's where I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go to the side. Watch what I want to do. Michelle's gonna to toss me a ball. I'm going to move up to it. By moving up to the ball, it's going to cut the angle. It's going to get you to the ball way faster. Do it for the backhand real quick again. So you toss me two balls. You guys are super lucky we have tennis with Tyler converted to the pickleball court because this is all tennis work. Instead of going out to the side like this, I mean, that was the easiest feed ever. I mean, a hundred year old grandma feed? could get it, but here you we are, do it again. Feed? I'm going to bisect and move up to the ball. Oh, he's using so tennis language move now a too. Diagonal. Okay, this is amazing for your <laughs> returns. Instead of going to the side, I'm going to hit my backhand return here or my forehand return here. Can I see your paddle real quick? Uh -huh. I want you to think that you are going to always move in a V. 
So what I mean by that is instead of moving side to side, if I have a forehand out wide, right, ground stroke, wherever, right, I'm going to move this way. If I have a backhand, I'm going to move this way. I'm always moving in a V now. You will be able to get to two times as many balls than you ever have before. So what do we go over? Always on our toes and we're moving in a diagonal. Guys, just stop what you're doing right now. End this video. Just keep kidding. Keep on watching this and go is out so and play. Valuable. You just got to twice as many balls with just two tips. I can't wait to use this tonight when I play women's. Seriously, like you will get to so many more balls that you think that you would think that you never because could Because I'm constantly like, Tyler, why can't I get to that ball? I feel like I can't move on the court. Like, I feel like I'm like, is it me? Am I not doing enough agility drills? Am I just not a tennis player? Why can't I get to those balls? And it's because I'm not using this knowledge of getting straight to cut off the ball and hit the ball on an angle instead of going out wide or letting the ball do what it's trying to do before I take control of it. Yes. The toes for speed the heels for stability and if you want to get somewhere faster you better be on your toes okay so we got halfway through right now and again we already gave you two times as many balls if we didn't please let us know in the comments below because there is no way i don't care if you are as slow as a turtle you're going to get going to get more to more balls than you ever had before mm -hmm. okay now the next tip okay the next tip is going to lead into our next tip after that tip and that is do not let the ball come to you you go to the ball it is a type of mentality. You are not going to wait for the ball. You are going to go to it. Pretend the ball is a billion dollars, okay? Think about it. You're not going to just stand there and be like, ah, I'm waiting for it. You're going to go to it, okay? Mm -hmm. When you see how we met on the tennis court, when you see a beautiful uh, blonde woman on the other side, you're not just going to stand there and go like this. No, you're going to go run up to her and be like, hey, my name is Tennis with Tyler, a.k.a. now Pickleball with Tyler because we quit tennis. And I want to get you, like your phone number. Can I give you a, a tennis lesson or a pickleball lesson or something like that, right? You're going to go to it, okay? So for this ball, this is what I don't want you to do. And even though you hit me in the last video, I won't hit you, I promise you, okay? Give me two balls. I'm going to show you. I won't hit you. I'm going to show you what not to do, okay? Forehand Toss me a ball. Forehand backhand? Uh, forehand up here, right? So I'm um, waiting. Okay, you're not going to be able to get to as many balls. I'm going to go straight this way, okay? okay. So Don't watch. Move. This is what I want. I go to the ball. Boom. I am going to the ball. I am taking time away from my opponent. I am being more aggressive. By having the mentality that you are going to go to the balls and not let the ball come to you, you're going to be able to get to twice as many balls once again. Yeah. Any comments on that? Fire. Perfect. Okay. Now... <laughs> The last tip, and this is more of a tennis tip, but it works, okay? I want you to go to every ball. I want you to go for every ball. Even if it's a ball that you think that you can't get, I want you to still try to get it, okay? Regardless of what ball, even if you see the ball so close up at the kitchen, it hits the net, goes over, I want you to try your hardest to get up to the ball. So many players, their mind limits them and they just think, ah, oh, I can't get to it. This reminds me, too, of a, a women's point of mind. That actually happened in the tournament that we last played in Delray. Yeah. Gabby had a ball that came over the net very super shallow, and she the ball bounced, and she dove for the ball and hit it back over the net. And then I had to guard the whole court because she's laying in the kitchen, and we ended up winning <laughs> the point. Like, it was incredible. And I actually have a clip of it, too, from the other night. Same thing happened. She dives for these balls, and as long as they bounce in the kitchen, you don't touch the net. You can hit it back over. So okay. dive for the balls I mean, if you no, need to. Then we're gonna get like liability issues and stuff. Don't what? die for the balls. Dive for the balls. But go for the balls. Okay. I, I am not dive recommending. For them. No, no, no. <laughs> Do not. But go for them. Okay, My point okay. Here's in this the thing. Is that you she didn't... went for it and she won us a point with okay. her effort. You didn't hear it from us, but uh, you heard it like from the wind or something. Someone told you to dive for the balls. I'm never diving for the balls oh. personally unless it's like with you. No, I'm kidding. All right. Too too much. Um, whatever. <gasps> flirting yeah someone said that like we're super cute on like uh youtube and like it like boosted my ego so now i'm just like going with it which is probably not good people are probably like what the heck is this that's okay we're teaching how to get to twice as many balls okay mm -hmm. so run through the balls how many times have you or even myself i think even today in the morning i thought i couldn't get to the ball and i tried and somehow i got to it Right. Like, you won't believe if you can have that mindset. And here's the thing. Even if you don't get to that ball, you're going to get faster by attempting to get to that ball. Now, here's a disclaimer, though. We don't want to run through our shots. We don't want to run through our shots. Like, if you have to take a third shot drop, 
I actually have found myself running through third shot drops, and that's why I've been missing them a little bit lately. You need to plant your feet if the ball is in your area and then take your shot. But if there's a really super wide ball that we we're talking about and you're going for it, like, yeah, you're going to be running and you're going to have to hit the ball okay. as a Hail Mary, but you're not going to tell people to run through the ball. Run through their shots. I'm talking about balls that you don't think you can get to. Right. Now and you're, out you're, wide, far now shot, but don't say run through like their drives now, and their drops. I never said that. And now you you're being like all balls. those YouTube well, uh, I'm doing it, so YouTube they don't do trolls. it. Oh, well, you, well, you you're said telling run me through to run ball. through shots. No, I'm giving you a situation, okay? We're I'm telling like, you a situation. The example is a really okay. hard to Thank get ball. Thank you so much. Yeah, run yeah. So, it. You have to, so to like, get to here, it. Here, here, here. Go feed me a ball. Here's your okay? example. Watch. Ready? So give me a ball real quick. They're going to say Tyler told me to run through my shot. That's what I'm saying. He's not saying that. Give me a ball real quick. Okay. So like, I am going to try. Ah, you're so nice, okay? A great drill. Come over here. A great drill. We're going to have you do the drill because you hit me with the ball last time. We usually play this with kids, but I'll play it um, with you as well, okay? We're going to play the impossible game, okay? This is how, if you want to get better and to more balls, this is the best exercise that you can do for pickleball, okay? It's called the impossible game, the reason why the game is impossible, okay? If you win the impossible game, you get $250 million, okay? And that's what, when we monetize, we're going to eventually get, right? Okay. So you guys make sure to share, subscribe, like, everything like that, mm -hmm. tag, whatever, okay? And the check's coming in the mail, okay? I won this one time when I was like 12 years old and um, my coach said he sent me the check in the mail, but I still never have gotten it, okay? The impossible game is Michelle has to return every single one of these four balls. If she doesn't, then she loses it, okay? You have to return all four balls, okay? I start here? Wherever, and the goal is to what? To get to all balls, okay? So here we are, let's go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, so she loses, okay? <laughs> and that's what it is. The impossible game is to make it impossible, but what are you doing? You are telling yourself, I thought you were gonna kill me with that ball. You're telling yourself to run through all I the shots. I thought I had that shallow one. So guys, if you guys watch this whole video, we taught you how to get to twice as many uh, balls as possible. Yeah, Please, content. like, this stuff is so good. I'm telling you, go out and use it. If you've gotten this far in the video, go out and use it. And it's so good. Make sure to share it with a friend, okay? That you love. Only share it with the people that you love to play pickleball. Yeah. If you don't want them to get better, keep this for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Don't give it to your opponents because then again, they'll be running down more balls. Yeah. We can get faster than we think that we are if you have the right mentality and the right tips of, again, moving diagonal, cutting the angle, and being on your toes. Now, have a good one. Happy hitting. Get to more balls. Make sure to check the link in the description for these awesome Selkirk paddles. Use our promo code ADV Universal to get any type of Selkirk gear and get a gift card with your purchase. Make sure if you want any pickleball clinics, drills, fundraisers, corporate events, charity events, whatever you want, Universal Rackets, we provide pickleball programming to any community in the United States. Make sure to click the link in the description to fill out the Google form and a Universal Rackets representative will get back to you. And again, make sure to share this with a friend and get to twice as many balls. Have Happy a good one. Happy hitting. Ooh, you said it. Okay. <laughs>